After covering the general body, page, and header tab, it's time to create an attractive slideshow to the slideshow tab. Initially, check the first option in order to add a slideshow to your WordPress theme. And next two options are to add or remove slides from your slideshow. And these are the options to move next or previous slides of your slideshow. Then you have the position option whether you want to place your slideshow can be placed above your header and menu, in middle of your header and menu, and below your header and menu. Coming to the transition effects, you can add various effects to your slides from here. And this is the option whether you want to add the effect on a single slide or you want to apply on all slides. Here I am just checking this option. I want to apply individual effects on my slides. And this is the option for setting the transition duration. It can be slow, medium, fast, or two more. You can set it manually. This is my first slide of my slideshow and here I am giving the effect of circular reveal. Next is the button option and from here you can make your buttons being shown on the slideshow and next are the various options to customize your button. First is the border options, then the height, width and background and here I am going to set the height and width of my Slide show manually. Just like I'm increasing the height as well as width. And next is the option to set the background of my button. Here, from here, I can change the background. And this is the inner arrow options. More the thickness can value can be set. Stroke and fill option. That's all about the button. And next is our navigation options. These are the various pagination types and I'm selecting this one. And next you have normal. For the normal navigation button, you can set the background from here. And similarly, you can set the border also. And for the selected ones, you can set the background from here. I'm setting from the more color. This is your dropper that will help you to choose the color from any location. And similarly, for the selected navigation button, you can set the border also from here. Styling of the border, thickness, radius, color. And shadow option is also given for the navigation button. Next option is the background option in order to add a background to your slideshow. And from here, I'm setting a background color to my slideshow. Next option, you can add gradients also. Here are the various gradients. And apart from color and gradients, you can add images as background to your slideshow. Okay, I'm setting this one as a background. And in the images option, you have more images option also. From here, you can modify the image setting. You can repeat your image horizontally or vertically, and you can stretch to uniform to fill. And transparency can be set from here according to your requirement. Any link can be set to the background image. Next is the horizontal alignment option. Then vertical alignment and then fallback value is given in case the background image is not applied. Next is your layout option to set the height, border, width, and margin of your slideshow. Here is the height option you can set here from the drop down or to the more option. You can set it manually, just like I'm setting it here. Next is your border option. Here are the various styling options for your border, like your style, your thickness, radius, and color for the slideshow. This is the width option for the slideshow, whether you want to set it as full width, equal to page width, or you want to give any custom width. And this is the margin option. You can give margin to the slideshow from top, bottom, left, or right. 
Next is the effects option. You can add texture to your slideshow from here, or you can provide advanced textures from the more option. Then various effects you can add to your slideshow. And this is the shadow option. Here are the various presets of shadow, and you can customize the shadow to the more option. Next is the foreground image option, and I don't want to add any image to this slide, so I'm skipping this option for the time. And next is our text area. We have a text area, default text area, on the first slide of the slideshow, and we need to customize this text area. I can resize and move it anywhere on the slide. Just double click to enter your text here and paste your text according to your requirement. You can do the styling from here. These are the various styling options for the text area like background effects, border, transition effects, slide effects, and the easing effects. Here I'm giving the background as transparent to the text area. And these are the various effects options. You can add on effects to the text area from here texture, effects, and shadow. These are the border options. You can add a border and style it accordingly. Then the transition effects and the slide effect you can add to your text area. Here I am giving left slide effect to the text area and I am giving elastic ease effect to the text area. For more editing or styling of the text area, you can add a button option also. Like here, this is the button option. Here, that button is added. Next is the time to add a second slide to the slideshow. Now, from this next button, I can move to the second slide. This is the second slide. And from this option, I'm going to add an effect to the slide. Like to the second slide, I'm adding fade effect. And next is the background option. You can add any color or the gradient or the images to the second slide of your slideshow. Here I'm adding this one. At the background image of the second slide and to the more images option i can modify the image settings i can set the stretch to uniform to fill horizontal alignment and vertical alignment here i am setting to top we have a default text area on the second slide also here we don't need it on the second slide so i'm going to delete it and this is our second slide and now we will move to the third slide and to the third slide i'm adding transition effect i'm going to give blind effect to the third slide here and button and navigation will be the same and next i'm going to set the background to the third slide the more images option and image of your choice okay, i'm selecting this option and here are the various options to modify your image setting that you have already seen next is the foreground image option from here you can add any of the foreground image to your slideshow from the gallery or you can Select any image from the more options. Here I am selecting this one. Now 
the image is added to the gallery here and here are the various effects that can be added to the foreground image from a single dialog and this is the flip x flip y options i can flip my image horizontally or vertically and this is the link option you can set any link to the foreground image and this is the transparency of the foreground image you can set here from the according to your requirement i can move this foreground image anywhere and this i can resize according to my requirement next is your text area just double click to edit it and you can move this text area wherever you want and resize accordingly we have already discussed the designing options for the text area here are the designing options like background effect and border and from here i'm setting the background of the text area to be transparent you can double click and paste your text here you may add a button here also like here i'm adding this is your button added and moving back to the tab this is the text area and i can add any of the effects here like the text area i am giving the slide effect it will slide from the left top like this and to the foreground image i am giving the slide effect the image will slide from the right bottom like this here we have completed our third slide also now moving to the previous slide through the previous button this is our second slide and next is our first slide now this is your slideshow in the desktop going to the tablet view this is your tablet view and now i'm going to move to mobile view this is your mobile view here is your text area and suppose you don't require the text area here you can delete it and the changes made to the mobile are limited to mobile only you can go back to the desktop and moving to the second slide and then to the next button you can move to the third slide preview your slideshow this is the preview option and here is our first slide fade effect on our second slide and next is blind effect on our third slide and this is the circle reveal on the very first slide this is all with the slideshow tab hope this video helped you design your own slideshows there's a lot more to come keep watching our next videos also thank you